In the sometimes hostile waters of the Persian Gulf looms the U.S. Navy's first, in fact, the world's first, active laser weapon. The LAWS, an acronym for Laser Weapons System, is not science fiction, it is not experimental. It is deployed on board the USS Ponce amphibious transport ship, ready to be fired at targets today and every day by Captain Christopher Wells and his crew. CNN was granted exclusive access to a live fire test of the laser. It's more precise than a bullet. It's not a niche weapon system like uh, some other weapons that we have you know, throughout the military where it's only good against air contacts or it's only good against surface targets or it's only good against you know, ground-based targets. In this case, this is a very versatile weapon. It can be used against a variety of targets. Laws begins with an advantage no other weapon ever invented comes even close to matching. It moves, by definition, at the speed of light. For comparison, that is 50,000 times the speed of an incoming ICBM. It's throwing massive amounts of photons at an incoming object. We don't worry about wind, we don't worry about range, we don't worry about anything else. CNN witnessed that speed and power firsthand. First, the Ponce crew launches the target, an incoming drone aircraft, a weapon in increasing use by Iran, North Korea, China, Russia, and other adversaries. Immediately, the weapons team zeroes in on its target. We don't have to lead a target. We're doing that engagement at the speed of light, so it really is a point and shoot. Um, we see it, we focus on it, and we can negate that target. Then, in an instant, the drone's wing lights up, heated to a temperature of thousands of degrees, lethally damaging the aircraft and sending it hurtling down to the sea. All this from a silent and invisible killer. It operates in an invisible part of the electromagnetic spectrum. You don't see the beam. It doesn't make any sound. It is completely silent, um, and it's, it's incredibly effective at what it does. It is remarkably precise, minimizing collateral damage. And all the $40 million system needs to operate is a supply of electricity and a crew of three. No multi-million dollar missile, no ammunition at all. The cost per use? It's about a dollar a shot. Today, the laser is intended primarily to disable or destroy aircraft and small boats. It's designed with the intent of being able to counter airborne and surface-based threats, and it's been able to prove itself over the last three years as being incredibly effective at that. However, the Navy is already developing more powerful second-generation systems, which would bring more significant targets into its crosshairs. Missiles. Those missions remain classified. However, commander and crew are already very much aware of the potential capabilities. Could you shoot down a missile? Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs>